Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. Recently, I came across a company, TK, Tandem Cross. If you have a Ruger firearm, and they actually have stuff for CZ, Caltech, quite a, quite a few others, but Ruger's the big thing, and they have a term coined tandemized. Now, that doesn't sound good if you say, I've been tandemized, unless you have a Ruger or one of the other guns, and then being tandemized is a good thing. So the first one that I did was on my Ruger Mark IV 2245, totally got tandemized. I, I have officially now been tandemized. They were kind enough to send me this shirt for proof that I have been tandemized. I love what I did with my Ruger Mark IV. And that, that goes for any of the Mark IVs. The next one is the PC-9. We got a huge following of the Ruger PC-9. I, I love this gun. I've had, I have three versions. I did um, actually three videos and I did one called the evolution of Ruger's PC-9. In my opinion, this is almost perfection. So how do I take perfection and get it better? That's where I got tandemized, tandem cross. The, the options with this aren't near as extensive as they are with like Ruger's pistols. The first one is the charging handles. And you can get a kit and they've got this charging handle here. And I just, I love it. Now in the kit, they sent me two. They sent me this other one as well. And I kind of thought, well, all right, you know, that kind of seems like a waste. You're going to get two charging handles. You're going to find the one that you like and then you're not gonna use the other one. Uh, no, not so with the Ruger. I have the charging handle now on both sides, which gives me lots of options. And again, I initially thought, why would I wanna put two charging handles on? I do like it. Um, the other one is the Victory Trigger. Now the Victory Trigger on the PC is, it's, getting, it's not gonna have all the options that it did on the Mark IV. Is it worth getting? Yes, okay. It's not as high for me as a charging handles, which for me is an absolute must. I love these charging handles. The trigger, it's not adjustable for poundage, okay. It's not adjustable for the reset like it is on the Mark IV, but it is, it is a positive upgrade. You'll just have to decide for yourself um, the trigger that comes with it is polymer. It's not the greatest trigger pull. And this doesn't, it's not like a drop-in match grade trigger. It's not going to transform it into something completely different, except it is a lot more comfortable and it is crisper. Okay. And I'll show you some close-ups here. What it did, in my opinion, and what I can feel on my trigger finger, finger is it got rid of the travel, it got rid of the creep, and it seemed to make it a much, much crisper, cleaner break. Now, another thing that I really like is this extended mag release. Great big old paddle and I can just hit that. The one that was on there, yeah, I mean, it worked, but I like this. And then the last one that I got for this was the, the front sight post. Again, what was on there wasn't bad. Um, actually, I thought uh, my ori original review a long time ago was really impressed with the iron sights on this. This does make it more visible, low light. It's it's a small, cheap, and easy 
upgrade. I think you'll like it. Real quick, a little bit about Tandem Cross. They are a small company. Um, I absolutely love them. Uh, I love their business model, how they they do business. The, the communication is fantastic. Customer service is fantastic. Um, you know, just good values. Um, yeah, I love this company, guys. And I think they have some awesome products. Um, some are going to be aesthetic, uh, you know, like some of the grips and stuff. Prices, very reasonable. Amazon. I can get a lot of these things on Amazon. I'm hoping Tandem Cross gets more, eventually has their entire line on Amazon. For those of us that have Amazon Prime, that's a big solid. Um, I actually created on my store a completely separate page for Tandem Cross. Right now, I have everything on there that they have, and as they start to put more on there, I will include those on my page. Another thing is, is the instruction videos are superb, okay? Anytime you're looking at getting a product, I would check out the video first, just so you know what you're getting into. Obviously, you're not gonna need it for the charging handles, but you're looking at trigger and some internal components. Some of you, you struggle with mechanical inclination. Jump on, check out the video, make sure that it looks like something you're comfortable with. I don't, and I'm sure Tandem Cross doesn't want anybody, you know, buying a trigger and then they're one of those people that are mechanically handicapped and and then unsatisfied but the videos really do a good job anyway thank you to tandem cross for working with me and sending me some of these things to review tandem cross is not paying me they were just kind enough to communicate with me and let me test some of their products and and i'm really happy and I really like the comp. Okay, so I just got done reviewing the TK comp here, the Game Changer Pro. I'm also doing a review, giving you a little sneak peek on my CMMG Banshee 9mm. makes a big difference. That's fun. TK Game Changer Pro comp on this Banshee. Guys, that was a match made in heaven. Okay, so I finally got some decent weather to come out here with this Ruger PC9 tandemized. We've got the trigger, one thing here, this paddle, holding it like this, <laughs> I've already dropped the mag twice. So something to think about, perfect for competition. I mean, it works great. You just, you just pop that and out it goes. Um, if you're not doing competition, I'm not sure. You might wanna think about it. I've already dropped the mag twice. We've got the comp on here, and then I've got the front sight post and the charging handles. We're gonna try here at 50 yards, see how it does. Now, the nice thing is, is I can hold it this way and just charge this way. I do like that. But then there's times that I like charging it here. Now we'll say this is the worst one to test iron sights because the stock just does not allow me to get down there on it. Okay, so I really want to test out this front sight and the comp. So what I did was, is I just switched to my other one. Um, it doesn't have the other tandemized things. I want to see how this feels without, without that other stock in the way. Ha, 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 ha. 
Guys, I like this comp. It comes with one O-ring. You want it to fit on there tight. I contacted Tandem Cross and they've been thinking about it. I think they're gonna start including either a second O-ring or some washers. And that's what I did on here. You want it just so you can get it hand tight so that it stays perfectly lined up. I love it. I love this front sight post. You know, inexpensive ways, even if you have just the original, okay, to really spruce it up. Okay, so now I got it back on the total tandemized configuration. All the different stuff here. Just tested this on a different lower um, because using the iron sights with this stock, I don't think works very well at all. The nice thing is, is you can just take this off Okay, so now I've got the fore end back on the totally tandemized lower. Again, competition, I think this is an absolute must. If you're not competition, you might want to think about it. I just dropped, see, I hold my gun like this, and it could be just me, but I just dropped, dumped the mag out for the fifth time. It works really well. Okay, it works great. Um, I don't know if it's for me. The charging handles, let's uh, go down. We've got the trigger in here. I like being able to do it this way, but then I also like having it this way. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, see, there I did. I just dropped it again. Up until this very moment, I really wasn't sold on the victory trigger. Um, just for, you know, the putting it in, what it cost. And I got to say, after doing that, I got to say I like it. Um, honestly, I really do. I was all prepared to say that, uh, you know, it, it's a good upgrade. It's probably not something that I would choose. After firing that, I do like it. I really like the comp. So, out of all the things here, probably in order, the first thing that I would tandemize is I would get the comp. Really like that. The second one, I think for me, would be the charging handles. Absolutely love the charging handles. If you're doing iron sights, you're not doing red dot, then I'd go the front sight post. Uh, the trigger's in there, too. This is probably the order. And then the probably last thing would be the mag release. And honestly, if I'm not shooting competition or I'm not wanting to do really fast mag releases for me, and maybe it's just retraining and holding it, and, and that's what happens. Um, I'm used to grabbing and holding right here, and I keep dumping my mag. Anyway, love this tandem cross upgrade on the Ruger. PC9. Hopefully you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Till next time, happy shooting, be safe, and remember, gun control starts with you and me. I've been waiting for a decent day, and this is about as decent as we've had in the last couple of weeks. I've got my Ruger PC9 and I've got it tandemized.